<laughs> Welcome, guys, to the Crank Revolution Cycling Show to talk about Christmas gifts. I'm Jeremy. I'm Merck. He is Merck. Yeah. I, it's I, actually I, Santa. <laughs> but uh, today we want to give you some great ideas. It's hard sometimes to think about gifts for your cyclist. Um, if you're not into cycling, sometimes yeah. you just don't know what they're into. So one thing that I always like to think about is gift certificates. Everybody loves a gift certificate from their local bike shop. So here at Crank, we have actual <laughs> gift certificates. They come in different denominations. They are printed out as little physical cards, but the thing that's really nice about it, if they lose the card, if you lose the card, it's still stored under their name. So that is a great gift that idea. Is a, that is a fantastic idea. The other thing that's nice is we're giving away a free Crank Revolution mug <gasps> with a $50 gift certificate or more. Yay! So jokes aside, though, uh, local Crank merch for people in our area or local bike shop merch is always yep. a very safe gift Absolutely. for cyclists. Absolutely. My, my favorite kind of gift, if you know, for the cyclist and me, if I had a lot The of cyclist inside of you. Inside of me, yeah. Uh, if I had a lot of extra money or money. <laughs> money in general. You know what? Garmin, Garmin products are are way to go. Uh, so this one in particular is at eight thirty. You're you're looking at in that five hundred six hundred yeah. dollar price range. But what's really nice about that, if they're your cyclist is like me, it's navigationally challenged. This will get you home no matter where you're going, or get you where you want to go. Well, I do have one of those, and the thing I love about my Garmin is yes, if I'm in an area that I'm not familiar cycling, or say I'm going for a bike trip. Uh, say you want to go adventure somewhere, it can be a great way to get the navigation to where you're going. Mm -hmm. But it also records all of your information. You can upload to great things like Strava, yep. Map My Ride, and it gives you a really nice metric of where you've been and what you're doing. Yeah, no, exactly. Now, what's really cool about it, about the Garmin, is that it does, you can get different attachments to it for it, so like a headlight or a taillight. Yeah, headlight and taillight's really important. What I love about the Garmin ecosystem, though, is I actually do have the Varia Radar. So people always ask me, what is it? Well, your bicycle actually has radar. It has a beautiful, nice, bright light on it, but as it detects cars and it senses them behind you, it'll not only show up on the Garmin screen if you do have a cycling computer, there's also a phone app, and you can see the number of cars behind you as well as the distance and how fast and how hot they're coming up on you. But what's cool is not only when it detects a car does it let you know, it also changes the strobe pattern to try to get the driver's attention. That is so in that cool. $200 range for safety, it is one of my favorite things that I picked up this year. Yeah, but if you don't want to spend that much, we also carry headlights and taillights. Now you're looking somewhere in that $30 to $50 range, depending on what's, what type you want, but fantastic for uh, safety. Well, yeah, being seen is so important. I, you know, if you're not a cyclist yourself or if you are a cyclist, you know that if you're out in those roads, it can be a little treacherous sometimes. Mm -hmm. So being seen is important. Yep. What's cool, though, is even that $30, $35 range, you can get one that has a built-in accelerometer yep. that when you brake, it also changes that pattern. And being seen is one of the best things you can do. And mm -hmm. I don't know anyone who hates having a second taillight, really. Yeah, no, I mean, we can attest to that with our last trip that you had the good tail lights, and right, I had right. the, yeah. And well, and I'm also, when I go to some areas where I'm not sure the roads are the kind of drivers, I'll sometimes have more than one tail light on the rear, too. Sometimes I'll have the radar, but something else to be seen, something that's a reflective strip, something like that. But in that safety department, if you're looking around your house and, say, you see your loved one's bike, and you see their helmet, a lot of times helmets, you know, we had someone bringing in a helmet that was 20-plus years old. Helmets do have a, a date that is stamped on it. So may, generally it's about five to seven years is where helmets lifespan is. Uh, we do have helmets starting at the $50 range and they go up from there. But what's really cool about every single one of our helmets is it has the MIPS system yeah. in it. So what the MIPS system is, it's a roll cage for your head. So instead of getting a direct contact with the ground or wall, whatever you're hitting, it actually rolls slightly that way it protects your head a lot better. Well, I don't know if you can see it too, because I've had crashes with ones that don't have MIPS. So if you don't have a MIPS helmet or your loved one, I would get it because if you look at this liner inside, you can see it actually moves independent of the shell. So when I had my crash, it pushed down and jerked my scalp back really, really hard uh, with the helmet moving on my head. So with this, you do get a little less damage that way. Yep. So helmets are great when it helmets can start at $50 and they can go to the moon. To the moon. Well, mine's like 250. No, but, that is a good point. Yeah. But so helmets is another great thing that you can safely get if you know somebody has an older helmet. Well, what about what they're sitting on? I mean, if you're looking at, at their at the stools, 
if you're looking at their oh. bike and that saddle or the seat mm. is just ratty, I mean, a saddle is a fantastic way to well, go. And that's the thing too. So a saddle, sometimes they're torn. Sometimes the foam materials break down over time and a new saddle always feels better than an old one. Absolutely. Now, if you're a road bike type person or you're racing, of course, it'll be a different form saddle. So sometimes mm -hmm. if you're going to go to your local bike shop and you want to replace a saddle for someone, bring in a photograph yeah. or find a photo of them on their bike, something that we can see kind of what they're looking for. But if you're looking for more of a hybrid comfort cruiser, a new saddle with new foam is always going to feel better. And Saddles don't break the bank always. That's true. Yeah. No, you can get a new saddle sometimes in that $30 to $50 range. Yeah. So those are some real basic ideas. There's always fun ones, though. Yeah, what exactly. What is your favorite fun one? Oh, my favorite fun one? Yeah. I, I still don't own this. I don't know why I don't own you this. You don't own that? I don't own this. You don't need enough pizza. That is true. Um, it is part of the basic food groups. But Park Tool comes out with the pizza cutter that's in the shape of a penny farthing. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just, it's just a really unique idea besides what we talked about before, mm -hmm. pint glasses, uh, coffee cups, even water bottles with the, the store logo. Something like this is really nice. Um, I mean, you're looking at that, what, $30 range, I believe, sure. is this is in. Um, but yeah, something like this is a great little gift that for your cyclist friend. Well, for you, for you guys that aren't familiar, Park Tool is one of the biggest bicycle tool uh, companies out there and they make really nice product. Mm -hmm. But not only do they have a pizza cutter, say somebody is just not into pizza, they have great beer bottle openers. And I'll yep. tell you, a lot of cyclists do drink oh, beer. Oh, absolutely. So yep. having a nice uh, bottle opener, they have both keychain ones and we yep. have them here in the store as well as ones you can hang on your uh, tool bench. Yep, I keep that one on my tool bench all the time. Mm -hmm. I think he's saying a lot about himself. <laughs> but there's so many different gift ideas. And as you kind of escalate up through, um, that's why a gift certificate can be so important. If you know that they've been yeah. looking at something like a smart trainer or a Garmin cycling computer, that really goes a long way to help them get that. But if you do want to pick that up for them, another co couple cool ideas. Um, they do have... Yeah. Power pedal. So when people train, sometimes they train to cadence. They can change mm -hmm. to heart rate. Yep. A lot of people do like to monitor the power they're putting out. And it used to be you'd have to have a wheel with a built-in hub for a power meter correct. or a crank yep. arm assembly. What we really love here at Crank is uh, this is a great product, the Rally XC series, as well as they also have the RS series with, that works with the Shimano cleat. Mm -hmm. But the thing that's really cool about that is they have hot swappable bodies. Yep. So say you buy the mountain set and you're riding during the winter or say you're just mountain biking, you can actually hot swap the bodies and the bodies cost a lot less than a new set of pedals mm -hmm. and you can have it for road you can have it for mountain and it yeah. really helps them with their training they come in single-sided and dual-sided yeah or as you were saying before if you want to get if they're looking to get training inside we do carry mm. the the kicker uh the wahoo product which is their kicker and the kicker snap which can get all sorts of accessories to it like the kicker yeah. climb and the headwind the headwind well, no, go ahead. I no, was I was say, just going to say, say the headwind's things. really cool. I was going to let you uh, go with it because that's your favorite product. <laughs> well, with the indoor training, the thing is um, knowing what your cyclist wants to achieve can determine what product you buy. Now, Mark and I both being road cyclists, mm -hmm. generally, uh, we do have the kicker, which is yep. amazing. And we also have the kicker climb, which actually elevates the front of your bike following the profiles that you see in yeah. Zwift free riding or programs that you're riding when there's an elevation change. Which it, it just makes you. it makes it a, just an interesting ride because whiling away your day night whatever you want whatever you're doing just sitting there going in a straight line yeah yeah moving that bike up and down just ah, like i like i told you right. before it made me giggle <laughs> well the thing that makes it fun for me is uh i think it's one of those things where if you want to keep cycling you want to keep training that's a really hard thing to do mm -hmm. during the winter yeah and for all the years i've done it before some of these products you just kind of sit in the same space. It never really feels like riding outdoors. Your bottom tends to hurt a little more because the bike is so stationary. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the Kicker product, for example, if you're a road cyclist, um, it's just really, really great to make indoor riding fun when you pair it with something like yeah. Zwift. Now, Mark did bring up the headwind. It is a <laughs> fan that can either simulate the speed of something like a Zwift cycling or our training yeah. program. Yeah. But what I love even more is like, if you're on Alp to Zwift and you're doing a climb, I don't want three mile an hour wind. Yeah, it's probably the speed that I climb at. But I'll switch it over to heart rate mode. So when you start off, it's blowing on you just the right amount. And then if you get your heart rate way up there, it ramps up and it mm -hmm. blows up from the ground actually. And it hits you and it feels a little more like a cycling wind would be. But what's awesome about that is when you start bringing your heart rate down, you don't freeze to death. Yep. We lost our log. How did we lose our log? Oh, well. It's back. That's interesting. <laughs> we didn't plan that. So that is something you can think about. Now it is a... Um, 
you know, a Bluetooth fan that works great yep. in the ecosystem of that. So there's so many different cycling ideas. It's not a bad idea also to look at bikes for Christmas. The last two absolutely. years it's been really hard to get yep. bicycles. Yeah, no, absolutely. We do have a stock of bikes. Come on in, check them out. Uh, yeah. But don't forget about any kind of the clothes that we carry. Mm. Yeah, so, cycling clothes you know, is always jerseys, good. Jerseys, gloves, uh, especially since winter is coming in, we have hats and mm -hmm. balaclavas. I'm not singing. Come on. Balaclava. <laughs> Thank no, you. Um, um, <laughs> well, the thing I was going to say, too, about clothes, you're always kind of safe getting clothes. Now, of course, you can always get a gift receipt. But the thing is, if you like gloves, for example, sometimes mm -hmm. if you use them for a while, they get really rank and you got to wash them out. Yeah. I have multiple pairs of gloves so I can switch. If they have short finger gloves, maybe they want some full finger for those 50 Absolutely. degree yeah. mornings. Exactly. Yeah. So any other gift ideas you think for now? We've only got a few days left until, yeah. well, the holidays and Christmas. I think we covered almost everything that we possibly can think of bes besides just tools. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. we always have those, too. Yep. But what I would say is if you're not sure what to get your cyclist, don't be afraid. Even if you're a person who doesn't normally go to a bike shop, talk to somebody in your bike shop. They always have good ideas. Like I said, if Absolutely. you have a photo of their bike or what they ride, maybe something on their Facebook page that they're very proud of, we can help get gift ideas for you just from that. We love talking about bikes. That's why we're here. That is why we're here. Yep. So we'll join you guys again. We hope you all have a wonderful, awesome holiday and a wonderful Christmas. Same here. Yeah. yeah. So come Absolutely. see us up here if you're in Illinois. Come up to Crank Revolution in Hoffman Estates, and we'll see you then. Absolutely.